All right, classwork 10-pointed exponential versus linear models with technology. In previous units, we used a graphing calculator to find linear models and quadratic models to represent data. We have also used those models to make predictions. Today, we're going to apply a similar statistical method to find linear and exponential models for a given data set. We will use our results to determine which model best represents the data and to make predictions. The exponential regression is found by pressing stat right zero. If you remember in the past, to do a linear model, we do stat right four, and to do a quadratic regression model, we do stat right five. So if you've got your green sheet, this is a perfect time to take it out and use it. Um, it's got all of the calculator instructions. I will be going through the calculator instructions with you, so if you don't have that, you might want to be taking some notes as we do this. All right, so first things first, with your calculator, um, there's three things we've got to do to get it ready to get going. So the first thing we've got to do is we want to reset the calculator. Um, that way it ensures that um, the calculator you're using is going to look like the calculator I'm using right now. So to do that, I hit second plus seven, one, two. Right, your calculator should like look like that. If it does, just press enter. Um, if your calculator does not look like that, uh, pause the video, rewind it a little bit, and replay those directions and make sure you do it correctly. Uh, if that doesn't work and it still doesn't look like mine, then go ahead and raise your hand and I'll help you out. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to turn our stat plot on. So from your main screen, you're going to hit Y equals in the top left. You're going to hit up, enter, down. Uh, now you should see that plot one should be highlighted and it, with a dark black background. So if your calculator screen does not look like this right now, once again, replay the video and make sure you find those directions. If it still doesn't look like that, go ahead and raise your hand and I'll help you out. Okay, whenever we want to go back to the main screen, I'm going to hit second mode. And if you see that is the word quit, so second mode takes us back to the main screen. All right, and the third thing I need to do is I need to turn my stat diagnostics on. In order to do that, you're gonna hit mode. Your screen should look like that. You're gonna hit the up arrow three times. So one, two, three. You're now on the stat diagnostics tab. Um, it's currently off, but we wanna turn that to on. So I'm gonna hit right, enter and that's going to turn that on. Uh, if your screen does not look like this, let me know. Notice that the on should be flashing and there should be no background on the word off. Once your screen looks like this, go ahead and hit second mode to quit back to the main screen. At this point, we are ready to start the problem. So let's read it. Question number one, our worst fears have been confirmed. The zombie outbreak has begun in Florida. Scientists from the CDC in Atlanta believe they have traced the initial outbreak to a batch of tainted corn dogs at Walt Disney World. The infection is spreading quickly and a model is needed to track the outbreak. Early data is as follows. Use your graphing calculator to make a scatter plot of the data and sketch the scatter plot below. All right, so the first thing we've got to do is make that scatter plot. So we are going to do that. So, in order to do this, we are going to have to input the data. So to do this, you're going to hit stat, enter. And we should, and the list should show up on your screen. Uh, once again, if this doesn't work, go ahead and rewind the video, refollow the directions, and if that still doesn't work, go ahead and raise your hand and ask the question. All right, from this point, we need to start inputting our data. So my list one is gonna be my X values or my time values. So I'm gonna start with two, enter, three, enter, four, enter, seven, enter, 10, enter, and 14, enter. Perfect, once I'm done with those, I'm gonna hit the right button and I'm gonna start putting in my number of zombies or my Y column. So 33, enter, 47, enter, 66, enter. 180, enter, 500, enter, 1,995, enter. 
Your screen should look like this. Um, if it does not, please let me know. And after we're done with this and we've inputted the data, I'm going to go back to my main screen. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit second mode. That's going to take me back to my main screen. Now that we have that, we need to sketch the scatter plot. So in order to sketch the scatter plot, I want to look at my graph. So I'm going to hit the graph button up here. Notice that nothing shows up. So because nothing shows up, that means I've got to zoom in on the data. So to do that, I'm going to hit zoom, nine. And then my data should display. So we want to make sure we graph that, those dots. There's my first one. And once you have these dots graphed, we can then answer the rest of the questions. All right, okay. So if you're having troubles with any of this, make sure you go back and rewatch the videos. Otherwise, go ahead and raise your hand. Um, after you're done with that, go ahead and go to the next video and we'll continue answering these questions in number one.